the question is, how does it feel? Because sometimes a big step introduces resistance too. So it's, it's really about inspired stepping. Because if you're choosing the disc first and then you're inspired to the action, the bigness or the smallness of it is irrelevant. The inspiration is carrying you. And isn't inspiration a sort of momentum? Here's the thing that we really want you to hear. This is such a good place for us to be. Let's say that you have a list of things that you want. Emotions that you want to achieve or discs, the disc that you want to achieve or conditions, physical conditions, relationship experiences, material objects. So let's say you have a list of them. I want this specific BMW M5. I want this specific physical body weight. I want this specific feel and texture and deliciousness of a relationship. So you have this list of things. So there it exists. Now make this statement about it. I want to have fun on my way to that. I want to have fun on my way to that. I want to have fun on my way to that. I want to have a really good time on my way to that. That puts everything in the proper perspective. You see what we're getting at? I want to have a good time on my way to that. Because it's a journey that never ends. And so it doesn't matter whether the steps are small or large. It just matters that they're fun while I'm taking them. I want to have fun on my way to greater clarity. I want to have fun on my way to figure it out this high flying disc. I want to have fun on my way to my ideal body weight. I want it to be fun. I want this experience to be fun because, oh, it is so much fun to identify something wanted and find resonance with it and then watch the cooperative components. It's like you feel like this creator of the universe that everything is at your fingertips and you are the orchestrator of all things. It is so exhilarating. It is so fun. It is so fun on my way. Oh, it's going to be so much fun on my way to that BMW M5. So much fun. It's going to be so much fun on my way to 120 pounds or whatever you want. It's going to be so much fun. So much fun. Not miserable now, 40 pounds out. It's going to be fun on the way. It's going to be fun on the way. Fun on the way. Fun on the way because... All along the way, I get to feel inspired. All along the way, I get to see results of my inspiration. All along the way, I get to see other cooperative components. All along the way, I get to feel the inspiration. Fun along the way. There's no gap between where I am and where I want to be because where I want to be is on a disc that I can do now. 40 pounds, not instantly. You don't want it that way, really. You don't want it that way. And you really don't want your way instantly into that car either. You really don't want your way instantly into anything. You want fun along the way. It's the savoring of it. We've been offering for quite a while the analogy that you really don't want to eat all of the meals that you will eat for all of this life today. You really don't want them to all show up today. Every good thing. There was a man, a taxi cab driver last night, describing poo. Ooh. He just kept talking about pie. Everyone was talking about pie. Ooh, pie, pie. They kept talking about pie. It's fun to think about pie, but you really don't want to eat all those pies today. You don't want them all today. You don't want them all today. Hurling would come next. You don't want them. You don't want them all today. You want it to come to satisfy your current appetite. You want all of these wonderful things to come to satisfy your current appetite. And you've got an appetite for fun and clarity and appreciation and love. Fun along your way to where you're going. If you're having fun, you're there. This is being fun. Not we're going to have fun. Not it's going to be fun. This is fun. This thought was fun. This universal convergence was fun. This impulse felt good. This resonance is fun. This empowerment is fun. It's being fun. It's not going to be fun. I'm not going to do this so that I can have fun. It's being fun. 
Don't you love that? Don't you love being with friends? You're all on that high flying disc. You're all tuned in, tapped in, turned on. You can't decide for the life of you who's the funniest because you're all funny. Or who's the smartest because you're all smart. Or who's the most beautiful because you're all beautiful. Because you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on. It's fun. Isn't it fun? Isn't it fun? And we want to convince you. You can tell because we're giving it everything Esther's got. We want to convince you that the moment is right here and now for you to choose that. It's being it now. I'm being certain now. I'm being clear now. I'm being precise now. I'm being definitive now. I'm being selective now. I'm being deliberate now. I'm having fun now. I'm on my way now. I'm living life now. I'm evolving perfectly now, but now is really good. Now is just right. Now is the convergence of all that I am and is full of all of these prizes and components. It's the manifestation of all that I'm allowing. And it's fun to know what I'm allowing. I'm in a bad mood. It's fun to know that. It's fun to know that. Isn't it fun to know that? Don't you like knowing that you're on? Esther's been having such fun recognizing what disc she's just crawled on. Oh, my God. What was I thinking? And then I said that. And then I said that. And then that happened. And then I said that. But when you come to your senses and realize that you chose it, then it becomes immediately fun. I did that. And I can do something different. And I have all of these tricks in my bag that I can apply as I decide to. Life is fun. One of our friends said earlier, and a phrase that just caught my my attention, and I want to expand on it. He talked about the wanting to know that it, anything, is possible. And after that, I wrote, and the knowing it is not only possible, but inevitable. And one of the questions you asked me earlier is this, getting into the hot seat. And expectation, yes, but it's the knowing of it being a sure thing. So it's... Replace Replace the word probability or possibility with certainty. With certainty. And so really... The balance we're trying, at least from my perspective, the balance we're trying to strike is moving between the knowing that it's possible to knowing that it's inevitable. And so I'm hoping that you can kind of or, move us. Or, or that it is, that it exists as a vibrational creation, a vibrational reality. And therefore, it isn't absent, it is present. And in the knowledge of its presence, you achieve a grid that allows the momentum to reveal itself to you in more specific ways. So it's the grid of the sure thing. That was so good. Say it again. (laughs) When you accept the isness of the vibrational reality, and therefore, you feel no ripple within you about the absence of the manifested reality. In your knowledge of its doneness, of its isness, in your your knowing that it is done, there's an absence of resistance that allows the momentum then to reveal itself to you in all of those delicious ways. And and non-physical knows that all the time. Non-physical is standing there with the isness of what you've been asking for, reveling in it, appreciating the creation of it, acknowledging your relationship with the creation of it, watching for every opportunity to give you a glimpse of your creation and to revel with you in what you have accomplished. So our ability to get to that reverie and revelry is the point through which our, the point that our grid fills in with what we're looking for, correct? That's exactly right, but how do you get there? What, what What do you, what is your focus? How do you, how do you, how do you get out of the way? Because you just said it's inevitable. We just said it's certain. So, so what's the hold up? If it's certain, if it's inevitable, then, then what is the timing of it about? the perfection of the universe filling the grid in well the universe will fill the grid in but this is your grid what part do you play in it what are you gonna do to allow your grid to be filled in now feel the way source feels about it yeah 
And, and what, are you, what are you gonna do in order to feel the way source feels about it? What, what are the obvious things that you gotta stop doing? Right. Notice, got noticing that it isn't done. Right. So it's like we're saying to you, if you could not care about the manifestation, then the manifestation would happen. But your concern about the manifestation and your awareness that the manifestation hasn't happened yet causes you to offer a vibration of the absence of what you want that prevents it from flowing. Right. So what are you going to do about that? Get happy. Yeah. Go general. You're going to go general. You're going to get off the specifics and therefore off the specific absence and into the presence of something that already exists. And the presence of what already exists is satisfaction about a lot of things, appreciation for a lot of things, knowledge about the laws of the universe. There's so much that you know that when you focus upon it with, with deliberate intent, that when you focus upon it, then you activate a vibration that allows it to fill in. One of our favorite experiences in a, an audience setting like this there was a is a young woman who came frequently and often because of the intensity of her desire and her expectation ended up in the hot seat and the majority of the time that she talked to us she wanted to have a baby 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 and when she would be called forward people who had been there before knew what she was going to talk about <laughs> because that's what she wanted and finally as some time passed, she announced to everyone, I'm four months pregnant. And it was startling for most who were watching to see how different she seemed. Now, she still doesn't have this baby to take to the park like she is looking forward to. She's not feeding the baby or teaching the baby or talking to the baby in the way that she one day will. But in her pregnancy, not yet manifested in the way she wants it there was no longer absence of baby right so if we could just help you to know that your vortex is pregnant <laughs> there is no absence of anything that you want but there is a gestation period that you want to occur and that gestation period is about your readiness. It's about the preparation. It's about the physical preparation for, in other words, you, she didn't want the consciousness of that child to come forth before the fetus was ready to explore and experience and in, in a similar way. So many of the things that people are asking for, they're not, they have not yet prepared the environment for the very thing that they're asking for. And you do that by no longer doing that thing you do that slows it down and keeps you from doing it. Right. That was a bit of a long way around that, but pretty satisfying to us. Me too. Clear enough? Very clear. Thank you very yes, much. Indeed.